Oh my goodness, keep this tank. I'm yawning now. It's late. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Let's Save Mama, Tamara Rubin, TamaraRubin.com, Let's Save Mama.com. We are using the glowing test kit to test some things. Um, this is particularly interesting. It's a Franciscan apple piece. I don't know if you can get a close up of that, Avi. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to show you, which is, is it was purchased at Goodwill. How much was it, Avi? One dollar and ninety nine cents. Yeah, so so these were mass manufactured and um, they became really popular in the fifties. Different TV shows had them. Like I Love Lucy had the Ivy pattern, and then also um, uh, the big the big boost for this brand, which is made in California originally, but also made in other places, was when Jackie Kennedy uh, chose the Franciscan Desert Rose for the White House china for the Kennedys uh, contribution to the dish room at the White House. I say that based on one of my favorite movies. So I'm taking off this little price tag. I don't know, you can kind of see this is a newer logo. One moment. Mm -hmm. um, you can tell that by the type of font on here. Um, I don't know the exact year made, but all of these, even through the 90s, have incredibly high levels of lead and no Franciscan apple should ever be used for food. I'm just trying to see. I might amend this later with a uh, version of the uh, with a photo of the back here. Hold on. It's a very it's a very modern logo on the back of this, so I'm assuming this is more of a a '90s piece. So typically, um, these test positive for about 160,000 parts per million lead. That's 16% lead in the glaze. And the interesting thing about this, it's not the colors. It's the clear coat mm -hmm. over the top. That Which makes you can it really clearly see. I mean, it's very glossy. Yeah, and, and that's lead. Basically, it's melted lead crystal. I do wash my hands after doing this. So we're going to use the glowing kit to um, see what happens. The first thing you need to do is you shine the light. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that, Abby? Uh, one moment. Let's turn off the overhead light. How about now? Uh, if I just adjust the angle and there, you can kind of see, yeah. Okay. So these, all of these Franciscan pieces are dangerous. There's no Franciscan piece that's not dangerous. So if you have any Franciscan pattern, it's not safe. Here you can see there's no green glowing. And if we spray the spray and then uh, shine the light and it's glowing green, then it's lead on the surface. We know it's super high lead, but we're de now we're just waiting a second to see if it glows green using the reactive agent kit. I see I see a little bit of green there. Do you see it? One moment, I can just zoom in on that, yeah. So the interesting thing is it looks like it's only a tiny bit of green, <laughs> but this is a very high lead item. So one thing I'd like to, I'll try a little bit more of this spray. I'd like to reiterate what I said before is, if these things test positive, is that green right there? Wait, um, one moment. It's definitely over here. Mm -hmm. um, if these things test positive, even in tiny specks, with the reactive agent kit that makes things glow green if there's lead, like that, is that speck, is that lead right there? Mm -hmm. Not, but we can see that here. That definitely is, that's green. Yeah. Definitely, okay. Um, if, uh, if, if, we, if we use this kit, for this kind of thing and we find only a tiny little speck, that doesn't mean it's a tiny bit of lead. That means it's still got a lot of lead potentially. And what I'm finding is that this reactive agent kit does not work on a lot of consumer goods, just like all of the other home test kits. So I just want people to know that you have to look really careful for that green glowing. You have to shine the light first to see if there's any green glowing before you shine it. And um, just to see that that might give you a false positive, which can happen, but rarely. And you need to understand that if you get an, what looks like a negative on this, it, and it's a consumer good using this test kit, it doesn't necessarily mean it's actually a true negative. We're gonna post this video on YouTube, so please subscribe to the Lead Safe Mama YouTube channel. And we have almost 200 videos there, it's pretty neat. Most of them are testing of consumer goods using one type of test kit or another, or using XRF technology. And I do believe we might even have testing this type of using um, the XRF technology. The, the other thing I just want to say, yes, Avi has a question. <laughs> uh, I was to... wondering if this is the kind of uh, thing that you would use those uh, sponges for the, yeah. like, the abrasion. Yeah, well, I think you could. We have one of those sponges here. We can try that later. That you There's a, 
the instructions for the reactive agent kits say to use these sponges to kind of abrade the surface. And it's that's like, for a, like brass, they were saying, right? Well, yeah. it's brass and other things. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, like a magic eraser. So it's a very low level of abrasion. I don't like recommending using those because mm -hmm. basically you're creating a lead dust hazard if yeah. there's actually lead there. And while you could, maybe I could do this in a video for demonstration, I don't want to encourage people to use any kind of a uh, tool that might actually increase the bioavailability of the lead in the objects that they're testing. So I'm not keen on that um, method, but you could take a little piece of a magic eraser and rub it and see if it got um, a more uh, positive result. We can try that um, tomorrow. I'm just, just looking here. I'm just, I'm not even finding that one little bit of green. I think I saw it. Oh, there it is. So please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, let's say mama.com, and we're going to make a next video. The next video, we're going to test this dinosaur that's on the website. So tune in again in a moment. Mm -hmm. Bye.